videos as you can see this video is going to be a halo braid tutorial <laughs> so let's get started i started off with stretched hair how i stretched to my hair is i just have my hair in a ponytail and then i took it out and combed it out there's other ways to stretch your hair i like braiding it or um you know combing it when it's wet and just letting it air dry out or you can blow dry it uh I took the Curl Girl Moisture Fix Daily Shine Oil and sprayed that in my hair and, um, you know, just rubbed it in so that my hair could be moisturized and shiny. And then I took the Camille Rose Naturals Almond Jai Twisting Butter and placed that on my hair as well, mainly focusing it on the ends because I have that color now and it can look a little dry. <laughs> so after I do this, I'm going to take a big white tooth comb and just comb my hair towards the front you know to kind of get that halo looking shape and um, then I take the comb and part a side down by my ear so that I can get the halo shape and it's easier for me to form the crown halo braid <laughs> And of course, I have to get my edges together, so I'm taking the Design Essentials Natural Honey and Shea Edge Tamer, which I should have used my Eco Styling Gel because this hoe does nothing for my edges. <laughs> but I just wanted to try it because I had it in there, and I'm like, let me try this instead of that Eco Styling Gel. So now I'm going to start braiding my hair, and you want to stay to the, you want to stay towards your hairline. You want to stay as close to your hairline as possible. I cannot talk today. And I am going to speed this up because it is just, you know, braiding it around in a circle, grabbing pieces of hair. And you want to make sure that you braid it a little tight. Not too tight, but not too loose. Kind of like a medium hole braiding. So that when it's time to spread it apart, it's not so hard to pull it apart. I'm going to braid this to the end. So now that I have it braided, now here is the fun part. You just pull it apart and make it as big as you want to make it. And it is going to get a little bit messy, so that's why you need bobby pins to pin the um, messy parts down. Now, I like for my braid to be big and messy, but that's just me. You guys can be a little neater if you want to, but I just pull it apart because I like the frizzy, big, huge braid. So I'll just spit it up because as you can see, I was just pulling it apart. So here I am now, I'm pulling it apart a little bit more. I want it to be humongous. So the more you pull it apart, the bigger it's going to be. So if you don't want this big, huge braid like I do, then you don't have to pull it apart as much as I did. So now I'm just going to secure down any pieces that, you know, look messy. Well, too messy because I like the messy braid. So I'm just going to put that part down with a bobby pin. And then I'm going to take that little tail and I'm going to tuck that in. But first, before I tuck it in, I'm going to pull that apart as well so that it blends in, you know, with the big braid. So once you've pulled it apart as big as you wanted and you've secured down any messy pieces or any pieces that should not be sticking up, <laughs> you're going to tame those edges again. <laughs> Just pull that baby hair out. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial because this is it. And like I said, you guys can be a little bit neater than me, but I like the big messy braid. So here is the final look, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure you like this video subscribe and let me know what other hair videos you all would like to see thanks for watching i'll see y'all next time bye